For just a moment, I want to talk to you about unusual people that meet Jesus. Probably one of the most fascinating people that I can think of that met Jesus was only recorded in the Gospel of Luke, and it is the tax collector Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus is an amazing individual. And by the way, you may not realize this, but his name means pure. Now I want you to think about the dichotomy of this. Here's the man whose name is pure, and yet he's the tax collector in the area of, of Jericho. And frankly, he's the chief tax collector. And really what it means is he was the chief ripoff artist. And he was ripping people off dramatically. He was hated by the Jews. He was hated by the Pharisees, the ruling class of Israel. And yet, somewhere deep down in his heart, the Holy Spirit touched him. And as it touched him, he was moved to do things that he had never done before. And part of it is he wanted to see Jesus. Now, frankly, he couldn't make his way to the synagogue because they wouldn't want him to even be there. They would run him off. And it's interesting, as Jesus is making his way to Jericho, the crowds were so huge, Zacchaeus said, man, if I'm going to find Jesus, i got to get up where I can see him because he was a short man. We all know that from songs way back when. But the reality is he climbs up, of course, into the sycamore tree, and he's there, and of course, Jesus passing by sees him, looks up into the tree, and he says, Zacchaeus, come on down. I'm going to your house today. Now, there was questions, you can imagine, just in the minds of everybody. Why would Jesus, of all people, who is this wonderful rabbi and teacher, want to go to the house of Zacchaeus? Well, it's fascinating because Jesus knew Zacchaeus' heart. And Zacchaeus responding, he understands, and he says, Lord, he says, I I'm going to repay. And he does, and he makes a wonderful promise. And it's a fascinating thing to find out here that here's the man whose name is pure, who was just an awful rat, and yet, when it all said and done, the reality is, this is the man who becomes up to his own name. He becomes pure because he has been reached, uh, transformed, you might say, in his own heart and life to be a follower of God and to be faithful in what he does. There's a lesson for us in that. No matter what you may do or not do, I guarantee you this, you can become as a new person in Christ, just like Zacchaeus. And your life can be pure. Think on it for just a moment.